Hello, welcome to this E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we're going to talk about creating an estimate. So we're going to cover how to create an estimate, and we're also going to cover how to change the name of an existing estimate. Let's roll over to E4Clicks here. When we log into E4Clicks, we're brought to the Projects window where we can see a list of all of our projects. We've pre-created a project called 121000 Construct a Building here. We need to open that project up and make some changes to it. Specifically, we want to add some new estimates to it. So how do we find our menu commands to do something inside of E4Clicks? Let's do a reminder if we can't remember. We can go down to the Projects button. On the bottom left of every window is the Program or Activities button. When we're on the Projects window, it's called the Projects button. If we click that, we can see our list of menu commands. The one we're specifically looking for to open and change a project is Change. Now, we remember from our previous videos that we could also right-click on our project and get the same list of menu commands, and we could see Change. We also remember that we could simply double-click on a project to open it, or if we were using our keyboard, we could hit the Enter key on the keyboard, and that would open up the project. And we'd be in the Update Project window on the Estimates tab. We have several tabs up here with different information that we can change. But most work is going to be done on the Estimates tab, including creating new estimates. On the Estimates tab, we see a list of all of the estimates inside of our project. The nice things about E4Clicks is you can manage your project with multiple estimates. So you could do estimates per phase, per building, uh, per floor. You could do it per um, division. You could do any number of different things with the estimates. And it makes it really nice. It makes uh, copying and pasting from, from project to project really nice, too, because you can own little pieces of the project and not have to sort through hundreds of line items to find what you need. So uh, using estimates to manage your projects is super nice. All right, so let's see how to add a new estimate to our project. Because we're on the Estimates tab, we can see that the name of our program or activity button is Estimate right here, and we can click on that and see our menu options, the top two being the ones we're interested in now. What else can we do? We can also right-click and see those same list of menu options, and it's at the top for the ones that we're going to look at. So Insert Estimate after selecting Totaling Components lets us choose the markups, the totaling components, to put on top of our line items inside of our estimate. This allows us to mix the totaling schemas that we have in a project, which allows us to do some neat things. So if we were in standard hours normally, but we had part of our work we needed to do off hours, we could do that, and that would allow us to put different markups all in the same project. So it's really nice. The second option lets us to go ahead and use the default totaling project schema that we had previously chosen and automatically slap those totaling components on and we wouldn't have to take the next step. All right, so let's do the first option first. When we click on this, it's going to open up the Select Totaling Schema window, which lists all the totaling schemas that we have. We have some really nice filtering buttons down here on the bottom left. So we can associate different totaling schemas or groups of markups with our contract and filter those out right here. Or we could use the active filter and see all of the active totaling schemas we have in our database. Or we could look at inactive and all. We'll go back to contract, and to have something different, let's go ahead and choose the non-standard hours. Again, we can double-click. We can hit Enter key on the keyboard. This is going to shock you, but we can right-click and choose Select. Or we can use our buttons down here on the bottom right. Select, choose it, or select none to have none on it. So let's go ahead and do Select. That'll bring us into the Inserting New Estimate window with the totaling components that we chose. Again, it was a schema or a group of markups. So we have a subtotal and then a city cost index. Then we have our non-standard coefficient and then our non-price subtotal. The difference between the non-standard and the standard schemas will be this one coefficient right here. And we can look at the other one in a second. Let's go up here. All we need to do now is to name 
our estimate. So in this case, let's do 01 general requirements. And maybe we'll break up this project in estimates based on the divisions in RS means. Right, so we'll put all the line items associated with 01 general requirements into this estimate, for example. So we can click OK button to officially add the record and we see that we're returned to the updating project window to the estimates tab with our new estimate O1 general requirements highlighted. Right click and look at the other menu option using the default totaling schema. If we click this, we're going to bypass the window to choose our totaling schemas because we already know that it's going to be the standard hours one. And we can see this looks just like our other schema with the difference of the coefficient. This time it's the standard hours instead of the non-standard hours. And we can come up here and we can name this one. Let's say, let's do O3 concrete. And we can put all of our concrete line items in this estimate. We can go OK again. That'll add that estimate to our list of estimates and return us to the updating project window to the estimates tab with our new estimate highlighted. Hopefully that makes some sense. Now let's do one thing before I let you leave. See how to change the name of an estimate. Now, if we want to change an estimate, what do you think we're going to do? Let's click on it, get our menu options, and we can see change again. This will allow us to open up the highlighted estimate and make changes to it. When we click change, it opens the updating estimate window to the line items tab. We're going to do most of our work on the line items tab, but in this specific case, the name of an estimate is a general tab. And this should look familiar to us. It's the same, win the same tab that we saw in the inserting estimate window. And this time, let's do 09 finishes. And we can click OK. Simply, we've created new estimates and we've changed the name of an existing estimate. So hopefully that helps you with those things, see a little bit of the difference between a project and an estimate, how to create estimates and how to change the name of them. If you have any questions, please give us a call, and please definitely see our other training videos. Thanks and have a great day.